You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the join button for channel memberships and check out the merch. You can get this socialism media shirt that I'm wearing right now, 15% off. Use the discount code Gina Rots. Also, make sure you guys go over to Odyssey and follow us there. Alternative to YouTube as the BitTech overlords are trying to censor our content. Find all that in the description as well. Let's get into this, folks. We're going to be talking about Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin actually plays in the G League now. I didn't even know that. He's in the Golden State Warriors organization and he's playing for the Santa Cruz Warriors. And he made a a eye opening claim about racism on the basketball court. Now, folks, he said that he was actually called coronavirus on the court. Now, he didn't actually go into a whole lot of details on it, but um. It's kind of fishy to me a little bit. It really, really is kind of fishy to me because the NBA is investigating this claim now. OK, but however, Jeremy Lin said that he will not be naming any anyone. Now, folks, is he just telling us telling us to the public? I mean, if if it's something this serious like this, if what he's saying is true, man. I don't condone the person that made this statement. It was wrong. That person should not have said it. But however, I don't believe that Jeremy Lin is actually helping his case here. I really, really don't. So let's go ahead and look over here. And we'll see what Jeremy Lin had to say. Jeremy Lin says he's not naming or shaming anyone in wake of claim. He was called coronavirus on court. It says here a day after a league official told ESPN's Mark J. Spears that the G League is investigating a claim made by Jeremy Lin that he was called coronavirus during the game. Lin tweeted that he's not naming or shaming anyone. Quote, I know this will disappoint some of you, but I'm not naming or shaming anyone. What what good does it do in this situation for someone to be torn down? It doesn't make my community safer or solve any of our long-term problems with racism. Now, folks, I'm sorry, man, but if somebody called me a racial slur, I'm going to name that person and get the situation actually fits. What good is what good is it going to do to stop what he perceives as racism unless you name the person? So basically, he's just going to let this person walk away scot-free. Something just just doesn't add up with this. It really, really doesn't, man. But it says in a Facebook post on Thursday, Lynn, the former NBA guard who is now playing for the Santa Cruz Warriors of the G League, spoke up, spoke out about the racism he believes the Asian American community continues to deal with and offered examples that he said he has experienced. Quote, being a nine year NBA veteran doesn't protect me from being called coronavirus on the court, he wrote. Now, think of this, man, the virus, when the virus spread across the world, man, the NBA shut down. OK, and for the large part. NBA teams do not actually have fans in attendance. Now, Jeremy Lin plays in the People's Republic of California, man. And you know that they are on hard lockdowns over there and it's pretty bad over there. So there's no fans in attendance. So this is obviously a player. And chances are, folks, it's probably just going by, you know, the numbers, 80 percent of the players are black. Chances are it was a black player that called him coronavirus on the court. But Jeremy Lin is refusing to name this person here. If racism is so bad, man, he should actually come out and name the player. I'm not saying, man, that you got to demonize the person. But if you're just going to let this guy get off scot free. If this actually happened, then what good is it to just um, basically what he's doing is he's just tolerating racism then 
at this point. But let's continue on here. Lynn didn't specify when he was called that, and it was unclear if the incident occurred in the G League bubble in Orlando, Florida, where Lynn is playing as a member of the Santa Cruz, the Golden State Warriors affiliate. So they're in the bubble, so clearly no NBA fans at all. None. So this is a player. But I'm just curious, man, this this is starting to smell a little bit like a Jesse Smollett situation. I don't want to call Jeremy Lin a liar. I really, really don't. But unless you're going to actually do something to resolve the situation, then what's the point? What is the point? Are you just going to tell the the uh, NBA um, personnel the executives or higher ups, whoever who is doing the investigation. If you do, it's still going to come out anyway, most likely, because I can almost guarantee, man, if this actually did happen, the NBA will most likely end up suspending that player for a good while. At least that's what I think anyway. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white sports fans? Do you believe that Jeremy Lane was actually called coronavirus on the court? Um, do you actually believe that he has been a victim of racism in the NBA bubble in the G League? I don't know what to make of this, man. I really don't. I don't want to call him a liar, but he's just not even trying to even help out the situation if he's just going to remain silent on this. It kind of smells of Jesse Smollett a little bit. It really, really does, you know, because right now, you know, uh, hate crimes, racism, man, that is that's hot topics, you know, going on right now. It is. It gets you a lot of um attention. I don't know if Jeremy Lin is just trying to be an attention seeker. I really don't know. I'm not accusing the man one way or the other, man, but it does make you think a lot. It really, really does. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.